Hey fam, special edition. <laughs> you just turned into a food statue? Nah. No, we're, we're live now. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Join us on YouTube memberships. Today, we got a special guest. It's my man, Chonsky. Hey, how you doing, everybody? We are here at Uncle Tony's. And real quick, we'll go through what the heck we ordered here. You you did the ordering because this is, uh, I used to live in this area, but you are like Uncle Tony's nephew. I am. He's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's actually been a long time family member. Yeah. That's good. And I do remember when they were across the street and there was no parking. That's correct. That's why they had to come over here. Absolutely. Major parking. Yes. I like it. Yeah, because you can fit about six cars and about 40 people in the building. And the thing about it too is when we, when we used to park over there, there was a whole parking lot, but the guy never let us. He wouldn't. He used why to put wouldn't a, they do that? Because they used to put the, the wooden concrete because he wanted to get paid for it. Yep. All right. No sense of community sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. But I also get trying to make money. Sure. You know? I get course. it. I get both sides. It's okay. So what, what did we get here? All right. So here at Uncle Tony's, you know, they're famous for their pizza. Yeah. L Lupe's holding there is yeah. the plumpy. But um, if we order an Uncle Tony's pizza, really you have plumpy. to order it. Light sauce. Yeah. Well done. And if you have multiple people, get a cup party style. But it's just Lupe and I, so we're having our own party here today. Yeah, a little party, a little pizza party. Um, but, you know, they've been around since 1974. They started making pizzas for $2 for large. $2. I know. Out we, the door. Yeah, we looked at it. Yeah. Out the door. And some things were like 8 bucks. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, 80 cents. 80 cents. You could get. You could walk out with an 80 cent salad, $2 for your pizza, and a drink was 40 cents. Not bad, right? I mean, just back in the day, they used to have it, man. They did. They also, not to go down the rabbit hole, but <laughs> with inflation, they. I was watching this video the other day. If you made $31,000, I forgot what, what decade it was, but it wasn't that far off from us. It it was equivalent to about $200,000 today. Wow. And I was like, all right, so the cost of goods have gone here, but wages have stayed, stayed flat. right here. So, Perfect. Yeah, that's the way we like it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and then uh, this is their, uh, it's it's like a spinach pie. It well, is. Well, Rhode Island. But it's their own. It's their own. Yeah. And they're called a plumpy. Rhode Island's very big about having, you know, their own staple. You got your wieners, but when it comes yeah. to making a quote unquote we Wait, call it plumpy. It's like a calzone, right? Wieners like a hot dog, guys. He didn't just say wieners just to be. That's what I want to. That's yeah. how we know it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hot wieners. Um, yeah, this is I. I didn't know that this existed until I moved to Rhode Island. So yes, it was a very uh, unique thing. Yes, I'm gonna give you that. Do you, have, right. do you have a right hand that you can hold this for a second? Yeah, I got a right and a left. All right, there we What's go. That? Perfect. No, your other, your other right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love when I say that to people. And then this is what? They're, this is their antipasto? Yeah, this is their antipasto. This is a fully loaded antipasto. Honestly, Look what we have here, we're feeding two. We probably feed a family of five. Yeah. But this is how it's supposed to be done. It's got every accoutrement that you have in there. You got yeah. your chickpeas, you got your eggs, you got the salami, the ham, the prosciutto, the onion, the tuna fish loaded up. And it comes with two with choices of your uh, dressing, creamy yeah. Italian and the house Italian. Um, just absolutely a must. This smells like Rhode Island, man. It just, it. it just smells like Rhode Island. No, that's the cologne I'm wearing. Is that what? Yeah. He <laughs> goes like this. He goes a little bit here, a little bit there. All right. So grab another side. Uh, grab grab one of these here. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll start, right we'll start off with this guy. Okay, right there to see. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's three locations. Uncle Tony's. I, I, still, I still remember the original commercials, too. Yes. All right. All right okay. So again, guys, it's a spinach pie. And uh, is this a... Like a northeast thing or just a Rhode Island thing? I think thing? it's a north. I think it's a Massachusetts Rhode Island because I go all the places yeah. and they're like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, they're like spinach pie. Get out of here. They're it. like, "You want a calzone with spinach?" And yeah. I was like, "Sure, this, let's make that." All right, cheers, bro. Cheers. Thank here you. We go. And it doesn't really taste like people hate spinach. Right. I'm sorry. Let me reiterate. As a, as a kid, you hate vegetables. Right. So I wonder if this is this is how my mind always works, right? Yeah. This is probably made for like people to eat their vegetables. Absolutely. And then just throughout the generations, bibbidi boop. It's Popeye approved. Yeah. Of course, you could have the dip dip. Yeah, you have to. So Get I'm, gonna, in there. I'm gonna do this on this side. Yep. Yeah. Marinara. Thank you, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar. I mean, think about when Rhode Island had these. This started back in the 30s on mm. the go easy to easy to work with easy to eat mm -hmm. and you, like you said you're getting you know the spinach in to get the vegetables there's um what's the place on federal hill that used to have uh the depression meals is it angelo's 
so on, the, on the corner. So Angels used to have a famous, and this is how they, um, uh, during like the depression, people didn't have money. Like we think we have it bad now. I'm talking about 10 times as yeah, worse. 1929. So they used to have this meal, which I think was just meatball and French fries. Okay. So that you could have your protein and your carbs. And that's what earned them the love of the neighborhood because they were taking care of them, giving them a cheap meal option. And that's what people ate most of the time. That was bomb. Good thing. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do a little pork here. Yeah. And this is the type of place too, guys, that good luck trying to get a pie on on any holiday on, on holidays uh <laughs> super, super bowl, bowl. get it i mean that goes without saying but just to give you a little bit more context mm. to where we are today where we are this used to be a sculpt scott's volkswagen so scott's moved down the road and they said why not just expand our entire footprint if you come here you get a seat that's not a problem this was a dealership this was a scott's volkswagen dealership is that see. building yes sir a little bit of car history yeah it's Scott's the one that has um, the uh, the palm trees in their logo, or am I thinking of the other one on the, on the other side of East Province? Is that I, Bach? It might be. Yeah. yeah, I think. I think. Yeah. It's... Listen, when you get old, guys, you don't remember things as much. Also, brother, before we get into that, yes, what, what, what am I wearing here? All right. Well, I just want to. Uh, well, I also put a bunch of. Uh, this is from the uh, the spinach pie. Sorry, that's fine. That. At least I mean yeah. it could have been brisket's hair. Yeah, it could be a little spinach pie. Oh, brisket can't wait. To so attack uh, this. what we have here, this is the antique car barn. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of a small Rhode Island local business, and being history, being cars, it's what I do. Um, yeah. I've been doing it. You know, my father started it back in the 1967. And um, now, what exactly is it? Are you guys curators? Are you guys builders? Are you guys renters? Or do you do it all? Well, he started, you know, he started it by, um, you know, collecting. So yeah. collecting, he would go around and collect cars in Rhode Island at a cheap price. So he bought his first, you know, collectible car for $900 from Scott's, um, I'm sorry, Steingold Volvo. I was gonna say the guy here? Yeah, Steingold yeah. Volvo, which is Steingold Pontiac then, mm. uh, for $900. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna start collecting these cars because they could be history. Yeah, um, they yeah. could, you know, he had a foresight, I think. I think he went to the DeLorean and said, yeah. I know what they're going to do in the future. But he loved preserving history. Yeah. Um, he loved buildings. So, you know, being his son allowed me yeah. to kind of be born into it, right? Yeah. So I was yeah. able to, 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 to say, okay, let me, let me enjoy the hobby with my father. And the, and the antique awesome. car business, is, is a, we call it a hobby. And Rhode Island, it, it's a very big thing. People don't see it out in the forefront. But there's local shows. No, you guys, there's, I always see flyers for meetups. Do you? All the come time. On, well, come on down. If you're not in the community, then yeah. you may not know the community, but it's open yeah. to everybody. Okay. Um, and I'll be willing to teach anybody. And what the antique car barn is. There, is there going to be food trucks there? I'm absolutely. Yeah, right, absolutely. Right. There has to be food. Because, you know, family, <laughs> friends, and, and food. It's always my first question. Is there going to be food there? <laughs> nah, but, the, but I'll still go. I just need to know, should I eat before I go? No, no, no. We'll all make right. sure you're taken yeah, care yeah, of. Yeah, and right, then right. Um, with antique car barn, um, you know, my father passed away in 2016. Oh, sorry, but he's, you. that's okay. He's always with us. He's with us in spirit. Yeah. And um, it's allowed me to take the business. And honestly, what we do is we'll take care of any of your wedding needs. If you want any photo, if you want any movie production, if you want me to just take you down a daily drive into Newport and I'll do a tour with you. Get out of here. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and for me, it's about the pres preservation and the history of the cars. And, yeah. I, and I'll do, I do classes and I teach um, about antique cars because to me, you know, it symbolizes where we were and where we are now. You know, we're talking about electric, right? Yeah. Well, these yeah. cars were, they started electric. They started mm with water so a lot of the early steam cars and then they ev ev evolutionized into a gas power car yeah and so on and so forth and luxury and things like that but anti car barn um you know anti car barn .com. Um, I'm found on eBay. I do consignment work too. So if you have any parts or what, cars to what sell. What do you have on eBay? The parts? Um, yeah, I have a full parts store. So if you want to sell anti car parts, I'll consign them for you and sell them for you. I'll do all the work and the technology. Yeah. You just come to me. All right. I like that, brother. I didn't Absolutely. even know it was that intense. Absolutely. And then I'll I just, like that. just put a little, uh, caveat up here yeah look at this it's right there screenshot there it is wait let me let me touch it here there you go screenshot that's and then, awesome and then a little bit here and we'll, we'll put the info in the description too, absolutely guys. that's cool man congratulations I, thank you sir i didn't know it was that uh that yeah, involved it, it's, it's evolved to a point where you know for me i just want to make sure that i'm a younger guy you're a younger guy yeah. we're young men i don't know if you knew that or not but we tell that to my little <laughs> my knees yeah um for me I always want to talk about it to keep sure. it going because yeah. our old timers and that's a respect thing they are the legends of mm. this business i want to be able to continue that nice 
All right, amen. I like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. All right, let's get a okay. slice here. So again, Uncle Tony's. But also at the same time, uh, well, well, I still want to talk about cars too. Yes, and, sir. And especially, I think we live in such a unique state here that has so much history, right? Huge. One of the, you know, we're a colonial state, one of the original 13 colonies. Yep. I always tell people we were the ones that did the first action against the British. People don't know that. Everyone always thinks of the Boston Tea Party. But that's why we have a Gatsby Days. Absolutely. And that's why, you know, <laughs> it's 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 so cool that if you guys ever make it, go down to, uh, what's the name of that park? It's in, like, Patuxent Village. What's that park, though, that um, where the Cranston Yacht Club is, like, towards that, the end of the peninsula? Not Goddard Park? No, no, it's no. in Cranston. Oh. But there's a strip of uh, strip of grass, and then they have a plaque. And on the plaque, it explains the whole situation on who went in there. We, we set the boat on fire oh, okay. and everything else. And it's so cool that you're standing there, and you can see where it all jumped off. And you're, like, right okay. there. And it's just crazy, It's man. true. That's why I love history. Joshua Revolution started in Pawtucket. Yeah. So there That's you go. That's thing. You guys are go. welcome. The whole rest of the United <laughs> States, you're welcome. Rhode Island, we're, we're out here. That's it. And, we're, and nobody knows who we are. They think we're Long Island yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time, man. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Lupe, uh, do the honors. All right. I'm going to grab the pepperoni side here. There you go. Right, right down there. Oh, oh that, that was a bad tear from me. Oh, you know I know what? you're not a crust guy, but in this there situation, we go. we're gonna go corner. I think it's worth it. Yeah, because again, how we got this pizza here, and how um, I think Rhode Islanders will will also say. And if you don't, in the comments below, let me know what you like. Um, but light sauce, well done. Look at that. Now, do um, I always just. I, honestly, I never ordered it light sauce. Light sauce, and I'll tell you why. Because it brings the full flavor of the cheese with the hint of the sauce in the back. Yeah. Where you get that full crust crunch that you're looking for because it won't sog it down. Got it. Look at that. All right, here we go. And in your situation, mm. we got the dip dip if you want to you know, add on to the sauce. I like to choose my sauce. You know what? You're right. <clears throat> I always get it. I never say anything about the sauce. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you don't even need that much. You know, taste the butteriness of the crust. And on your live last night, we talked about cheese, right? We talked about melting cheeses, mm -hmm. things like that. That's how you get the sauce. You get all the flavor of what is actually supposed to be going on the pizza. No. Very well known that I'm not a big crust guy, but I don't mean this crust. I mean you mean the outside crust. The outside crust. Right. But this is actually going almost to the Correct. corner, so I don't edge mind edge. that. I don't mind it. Detroit-ish style, right? Yeah. You know. Now there are three locations, but they are all individually owned and operated. Though. They are. We got one on Newport Avenue, which we're at right now. The original, the second original. We have one on uh, 46 Putnam Pike in Johnston, and another one on 140, 1455 Oak Lawn Ave in Cranston. I, would, I am surprised why there isn't more locations though. I'll tell you why. Is it like is it like In and Out? They're trying to keep a. Uh... Well, In and Out, we know Tennessee. Let's come. Let's come east. Oh my let's God. go. You want to go? You want to go half on one? Let's do it. You know whoever <laughs> opens up the first one in Rhode Island, it's, it's done deal. Ten million dollars a year. It's done deal. And for those folks who haven't gone out west to enjoy In and Out, to me, when I make my pilgrimage out there, when I go to Vegas or California, first stop. I don't even, I get off the plane, it's right to in and out Double, double, animal style, let's go. The famous one that's right next to the strip? Yes. With the big, they have the big sign over the freeway? That's correct. That's the one? Mm-hmm. Same thing, I don't want to gamble. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I want to go straight to in and out Yes. Get my animal fries. Absolutely. Double, yeah. Oh, and you don't know, if you don't, if you don't know, then you don't know. Yeah. Um, and to answer your question, why they keep a logo, they keep the integrity. I think it's to keep the You stretch mm. this out too much, I don't think you're going to still have this goodness. Yeah, you're right. And honestly, I think I celebrated a birthday here one time, too. They have a huge, huge... Um, I need another slice. Yeah, don't worry we're about not, the crumbs. We're not plenty. We're going to leave these for brisket. Yeah. Brisket loves you already. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put the soda down. I'm being, I'm being greedy. Let's see if I can be able... Oh, that's all right. Uh, that's one. not too bad. Not too bad. It's going in. Double there it fingers. Is. There it is. All right. Here, how about you want to open up this guy? Yeah, let's do that. Do that thing. I don't know what 20 means. 20 ounces? <laughs> <laughs> this is a 98. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know what> <laughs> <laughs> there it is. 
absolutely full. Honestly, this antipas could feed four people. Think mm. about it. Um, and this is so like, this is a very Italian thing. Absolutely. In California, we don't have salads like this. No. Well, again, Italy, mm -hmm. you know, Federal Hill, things like that. I'm not too, uh, you know, I don't know all the history of an antipasti, but whoever met that, I'm pretty excited about it. I've been so, honestly, I think, uh, I think moving to Rhode Island was, uh, was a blessing, man. And then it comes with um, the regular house Italian, but I like to go for the creamy. So we got a little bit of both here. The creamy Italian here just, it, it sets it apart. It gives it a little bit of flavor, a little bit of zing. But I think the antipasti enjoys. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to ladle yep. some on the half here. That's the one that you like? Yeah, the creamy. And the house, I'll tell you, it's right there. But there's something about the creamy that just takes it over the edge. Yeah. And we'll, and we'll, and we'll try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but again. I don't think I've ever had it here. But you, I mean, look at this. I mean, you, this is a meal in itself. Let's, let's be honest. Mm. I mean, and think about protein packed. Cheese, meats, tuna, egg. And there's a reason why, uh, you know, obviously we're smashing down blimpies <laughs> and pizza, but the Mediterranean diet, man, like this, it, it consists more of this. Just oil vinegar? All fresh, all craziness. Oh, exactly. You're doing fresh, I'll catch up to you in a minute. All right. So I like to do, you got the sweet peppers on here too, mm. which is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Take a little bit of the tuna. Oh, those big ass um, pepperoncini, banana peppers, whatever you want to call them. Unbelievable. I've never seen it with chicken on it like that. That's actually tuna. Oh, is it tuna? Yeah, that's what that's, that's chicken of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> no Jessica Simpson references, yeah. but that was a great. Can we talk about? The, <laughs> were we talking about that last night? The downfall yeah, of society I reality know. shows. <laughs> there it is. They weren't even in love, dude. They did that just for it. Was crazy, man. I know. Reality is like anti-reality. Um, yeah, but the tuna. <laughs> a lot of the antipastos will have the tuna in there. Yeah. And also, I didn't get it, but you. This does come with anchovies as well. If you want to add it to that, I'll be honest with you. I was excited when you said no anchovies. No, no. I, I was like, I'll and, do it. And for the for the truest out there, even in Rhode Island, they love their anchovies and black olives. That's a known pizza. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. All right, get right in there. I'll get a little bit. I'll get the magic bite here. We'll yeah, you gotta that. get the salami, get the cap. Look, I've even, yeah. even got uh, the capicola over here. Do the hot capicola. Come on. All right, I gotta do it. I'll jump some pear with you. All right. All right, get some salad. I mm -hmm. guess I have to eat some salad too, right? Get your veggies in. Well, we've already got it with the spinach. Now we're just yeah, adding to it. Yeah, that's true too. All right, look at and that. Is. And then let me get one of those peppers. All right, Ed. Yeah. And I think you're having the regular side, but this is the creamy Italian side. So if you need to, then we'll do this for you. How's look that? This. Look at this. I love onions, man. Yeah. We'll do this. Yeah, to go right all over. That's what the cream around the world. Is. There it is. All right, guys. Let me see if I can get the perfect bite here. Yeah. For a little bit of everything. So what's uh? Do you guys curate your own events? What do you guys do as for, far on the event? Or you just show up to events? You guys do? Uh, you're gonna be producing soon. Events for the cars. Yeah, for the cars. Well, what I like to do is be. Well, I'm part mm. of a lot of clubs and organizations within New England. We got a Cadillac LaSalle Club. We got the Antique Automobile Car Club of America. Buick Club, Packer Club, but there's a various. Oh, so there's plenty of events already. Yeah. They're already booked. Um, the largest one around, um, if you like to travel up to the Foxborough area, would be Bass Pro. On a summer mm. day from April to October, minimum 3,000 cars just chilling. Just chilling. And it comes from all cars. I, to me, every car, mm. no matter what it is, if it's a combustible motor, if it's an electric motor, it doesn't matter to me. It's someone's love, it's someone's hobby, it's mm -hmm. someone's dream. And you never, ever talk bad about someone's car, you actually praise it for what it is. Why, some people do? It does happen that way. And you know what, and, and I'm a person that's been around long enough in the hobby to say, let me ask you a question. Where's yours? Because let's critique yours. Well, I don't have one. I'm like, and that's fine. Everybody's entitled to an opinion, right? But when it comes to what we have here, it's somebody's blood, sweat, and tears, no matter what it is. And that's respect yeah. to me. Because remember, your car not by, might not be someone's favorite, Right. But it might be somebody else's. Remember, right. it's all in the eyes of the holder. So in California. Oh, huge community out there. Oh my God. I used to go out. I used to go out. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. <laughs> we used to go to car shows. And one of them, you have to tell me if it's still around or not. There used to be this show. And I actually knew some of the production guys. So they were like, hey, just help us. Help us move a couple things and we'll get you. And I was like, all right. Yep. Fair enough. Hot import nights. Yes, hot import nights. Is that still around or hot, is that old school? Hot import nights is crazy because you know the craze after Fast and Furious and everything else. But this else, was pre, pre Fast I know. This was me they in high started school. it. They started it. 
Yeah. And um, that's cool you that know, it's a lot still of my, around. A lot man. of my guys out there, you know, they do the imports and they also include a lot of the old cars. So they take a lot of the old school cars mm. and they and we, we they call a slam slam them and jam yep. them. So yep. they, they make them, they, 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 they resto mod them. Mm. So they'll put the modern motors into them, but keep the aesthetics of an old car. That's cool. Yeah. And, so and, you think you can, uh, you'll can? you be able to outrun this old car, but... Exactly. And a lot of my California connections out there, if you're watching, um, they are huge when it comes to the preservation of our, of our hobby as well. Because again, like I just stated, it's all about how you preserve it, but how you enjoy it. Because this is all about, it's yeah. enjoyment. It's I, a hobby. I will say there was one now, I'll, I'll tell you a quick little story. True. Again, when you're younger and uh, you know, you're kind of, you think you're invincible. Yeah. I went to one of those, uh, one of those race meets. Oh, like, like in Port Wars? No, it was like, <laughs> it was like everyone knew where to go. How about you? But it wasn't like, it wasn't advertised. Okay. Ah. And I remember, you know, you'd sit there and I was like, this is like the movies, man. It's cool. It's like kind of, I don't want to say the word illegal, but whatever they're called, right? <laughs> Um, but I remember, uh, something happened and like the cops came, right. <laughs> and then they're like, just coming after us. And then you're just jumping in random people's cars. You're like, what the heck? But somehow everybody knows where to meet up after. Well, it has was, to be. Has, it's almost like the first scene of Fast and Furious, right? They, they're in the back warehouse. Yes. They call the cops. Yeah. And then Toronto, everybody just went everywhere else. But everyone knows where to meet up afterwards. <laughs> I'm sure that's planned. I was like, damn, this is so cool, man. And yeah. it's, you know, at a young age. And it was the first time that I was ever in a car when someone hit the NOS. Oh my goodness. And I was like, dude, this is, I can see why this is addicting. It, it is, is addicting. The speed. It's the, the need for, for speed. speed. Remember that game? PS2, everybody yeah, played yeah. it. Yeah, it was, it was one of those great things. So. And it was, uh, you're right, everything from, obviously you saw the Hondas and the Supras and the... Uh, Volkswagen, VWs. VWs. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, California having such a huge... Um, you know mexican uh uh heritage culture, with big. the with the low riders the, all big low rider community the low riders man it huge, was just huge and some of these shows and you'll have to let me know are some of these shows like cash prizes well what it is is you you do your car and you make it as presentable as you can yeah. you can get cash prizes you get trophies the trophies but it gives you a preservation you know a lot of cars when you go to the higher meets have preservation awards and when your car is badged yeah with an antique automobile badge yeah it goes wow that car is the best of the best of the elite but guess what for the person that has an original car or a car that hasn't been restored or a car that just doesn't seem to be as we call concourse mm. they award that too good you know good. why because it should be not fair because everybody's getting a participation award right. but they recognize both the restored and they recognize the originality of what a car should be history yeah. and preservation good good yeah all right cool yeah they had a. Uh, I i remember see now that i'm thinking about it more the amount of and i don't really see them out here and you have to tell me why again it could be the culture in southern california okay, it's, okay. but the paint jobs oh yeah were in yeah same they call it depth you the, 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 would <laughs> not only would they transform to different colors depending on where you're standing yes but they would have like a a, a hologram yes. like you could see an aztec warrior only if you stood right there correct but not if you stood over here yeah it that's called hol hologram um uh, paint so yeah i'll tell you why winters winters because the sunshine it is always the, out there it beats the hell out of it it does the it salt. could fade it the salt so you're not remember our car community is from april to maybe yeah. october <laughs> And then, yeah. uh, then they go away, and they're not out or to be seen. No, yeah. so that's why I come in in the winter. So if you have cars to sell, parts to sell, I'll yeah. take care of it. So. All right, all and right. I'll find consign do anything you need to do. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Then. Yeah, yeah, but it's huge out there, and I, and I, I have a lot of California. Con I have people overseas, but my California contact, they're the best. Yeah, yeah. they're the best because it's twenty four seven, six three sixty five. Yeah, in Florida too, same yeah. thing. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah. they, they, they're kind of the two big states that carry that kind of weight. Florida, man, there was just a lot of, uh, there was a bunch of huge trucks, man. They, there were some trucks that were lifted almost like to a second story house. Oh, yeah. And then it seemed like the guy spent 10 grand on the under lighting. Yes. And then the lighting on now the, the rims. Yes. But then also under the car to illuminate it. Correct. And as he's driving. It just looks like it's. A, it's like it's just. It's it looks like, like Tron. Yeah, it looks like Tron. Exactly. The wheels don't look like they're moving. No. Nope. It's just. It yes. looks like it's floating. And I'm like. So I'm sitting there and I'm going. Damn, that's a lot of money. Right. In a good way, though. <laughs> it's exactly. In a good it's an way. investment. Their and investment. It, yeah. And I'm like, dude, good for him, man. He found his passion. He went for it. But then I'm going like, you know. And then, you know, some people are like, I could never spend money on that. And then you'd be like, yeah, you do. You just do it in something else. We all spend our money on something, on your own hobby. Of course. You got to find what makes you happy and, and go for it. Absolutely. And yeah. that, and again, 
you, like you said, money, it's, 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 it can be an investment, but if you could find something that doesn't need too much work, enjoy it. Yeah, agreed. Enjoy it. I would see, man, uh, what was that box truck? Do you remember, remember when Scions first came out? Yes. And then Scion had like a box truck? Yes. It was like a mini, mini box truck. Yes. And, uh, you know, he had this, there was like a gauge thing right here. Tack? I don't know what. Yeah, tachometer. Yeah, so that's right. He correct. had it here, right? And he had all this stuff, mm -hmm. and he he, it was so low. Yeah. And oh, you know Air, what? Hit by the airbags. It's. You know why? I think it's our roads here too, man. You can't. You can't do it you, here. You drive down this road right now. They, it, it you're off roading. Be, it would be this far off the ground. And, flat. And flat roads. It was. Yeah, forget it, was, it. Yeah. You'll destroy it. You'll destroy it. And there are some guys that they do come out and the down in our in our Cranston area. There's a huge low rider car club out there. Hello guys. Yeah. Um, Wait here. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, in Cranston. But again, April to October, they go down there and there's meets down in, in Cranston. They bring the low rider clubs. Where? Absolutely. Do you know they, where? Yeah, they they do. There's Walmart's out there. They'll do like the big Walmart oh, Cranston. So the one on the, Plainfield. Yeah, they'll meet up there and things like that. Um, a lot of times you'll see them late at Dunkin' Donuts at night and things like that, just yeah. for the lights to show them off. So it's it's okay. the summer cruising. And I, you being in California, it was always the block, always down LA Strip. It was yeah. always every night. And it would be crazy too, guys. Like you would be in traffic at a light, yes. and you would just see forty cars yep. going twenty miles per hour. Oh yeah, got it. low and slow. And you can't go low around them. Low and slow. No, you can't yeah, go no, around. No, them. no, no, you're not going around them. You're, you're, you're basically, <laughs> babe. I'll be late. It's, a, it's a, cl I'm, it's a driving car show. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they, uh, uh, and the clubs out there too. They, they take the clubs like to another level. They like, do. They have like all the cars have like the these plaques. plaques. Yeah, they were on the back because yeah. you're representing your brand, you're representing your car culture, and it's and it's positive because yeah. the more people you can add to the to the brand to the to your car club, yeah. the better because yeah. you represent. It's representation. And the cool thing about California too, and you have to tell me if they do this here too, is that let's say let's say someone like me, I'm just starting out, mm -hmm. but I'm doing the things to the car. Sure, right? I'm representing. I'm going to shows, but these companies though they would actually sponsor amateurs you would just have to put a little like a almost like a, a nascar yes you would have to put a sticker on the side Correct. of your car. advertising yeah yeah so the, a lot of the local places things like that like if you have a local business here like we're behind an o'reilly's right now yeah. they could put that sticker on there yeah and so they would give you product most of the time Absolutely. Not, not cash yeah, and you have yeah. to use their products use their things we talk about it you know it's sponsorship that's what it is isn't it crazy so back in the day they're willing to do that but now with social media how big that reach can be oh, it's just by them putting up. It's just crazy. It is. Because that car is going to be in certain locations that has a certain eyes to be like, what the, oh, that's the, that's the thing that has the new gadget. Yeah. Yes. Tell me about it. And then they just made a sale. So absolutely. Sponsorships yeah. work. Free advertising. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> so, all right, man, that's exciting, brother. It is. It is. And I'm glad to be a part of it. And like yeah. I said, you contact me anytime, email yeah. me. Um, what's I'll our next meal? You. Let's, let's figure out what's the, oh if, yeah. If the we if we were to eat later on together, where would we go? Later on today? Yeah. If you want to stick to this theme? No, it's a whatever dealer's choice. I would say twins. That's a that's a good answer. I would All say right. twins pizza. North Providence. All right. that's and I've ne I've never been to twins, so this guy, Brody Foodie, I right know. here. We're so, gonna show him. Uh, maybe we'll have a special guest that we can take there too. Yeah, we'll do in it in the near future. Absolutely. Sound good, brother? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Uncle Tony's here, dine in, take out, catering, home of the Blumpy. And uh, they have three locations, but this one has just, this is the only one I've ever eaten out of the three. And I'll be honest with you, you could do, do, do them all, but if you want to taste the authenticity, go right here. Yeah. Is the fit, this is, uh, is his name Kyle? I forget. Um, I forget one of the owner. Uh, I, I remember him and his sister uh, were working here and owned this place. Uh, but I don't know anymore. Obviously, that was like a few years ago. And it's still a restaurant where yeah. you can go back in time, put a quarter in the oh, machine, yeah. and listen to music. And it has all the nostalgic, like old pizzeria. Yes. yes. Almost like uh, this is a bad example to give, but <laughs> you guys remember the old Pizza Huts? Yes, I do. That was just really dark. Yes. A lot of wood. Yes. Had the uh, uh, the the, light. Sta the stained glass. Yeah, the stained glass. It said light. Pizza Hut around it. There was actually one right over here, which is the old Navigate. I know. I saw so it. It was great. Yeah. Oh, I miss those days. And they just have little knickknacks and old photos yep. from old timey stuff. So make sure you guys check them out. Uh, we'll have information down below for Sean here. And then uh, thanks for joining me. Again, hey, bro. thank you. Right. Thank you, Lupe. I appreciate we'll it. Left so handed much. as well. Left appreciate and right. It. All right. Be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Forgot. Oh. Got, got you a little something too. Oh. A little gift. You got to open it up, though. A little gifties. <laughs>
Oh boy! I, all right, I think <laughs> you already know what it is. I know what it is. Um, we exchanged. I, so I, I, when I was on one of Lupe's lives, I noticed the stack of books he had on the yeah. back. Well, because I'm such a minimalist, I was trying to get rid of stuff, and I was like, I don't know how I how I came into these. I also gave you some Dunkin' gift cards hey. there for a little bit of coffee, you know? Hey. For a little bit of coffee. Everybody huh? runs on Dunkin', right? So there I know you is. wanted that one, but I had two other. Uh, I didn't know you played poker. You played um, poker I used to. Well, for my poker friends out there, it was it was life from 1995. It was all the way up until Moneymaker took it away from everybody. That was in 2003 when we won the World Series. Yeah. But my friends and I, who have been friends for over 25 years, till this day we get together and we still play. And I just played two Fridays ago. You know what we did? Hmm. We played 20 hands but talked for five hours. Yeah, that's how, that's that's how it is. That's love. But that's the old school right there. And I don't know what these are, so... but uh, Professional No Limit. I'm not a gambler. Yeah. But uh, there's Harrington there, so just some fun there. I'll definitely re-engage in those books. I remember when... Um was it Poker Stars? Yeah, Poker Stars. So yeah, poker, Golden Palace. All so those. So all those guys, you could online, you could play poker online with people, yes, right? Yes, you could. And then I literally, I woke up one day, Sean. I was like, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a millionaire because don't you remember that back in the day, because of the laws, right. you couldn't put cash into it. Right. You had to put cash into a third party Artists system. Say, right. Exactly. And then you would buy. It was. It was Bitcoin. It was like a exactly. It was a digital currency. It was a digital currency. But it wasn't Bitcoin. It wasn't Bitcoin per <sighs> se. But it, but I know what you're saying. It was a, it was a form of digital currency which was right around. The, maybe it could have been Bitcoin. Maybe because I was not understanding it then. Yeah, yeah. But it was. That's how you got your money. So it would trans. So then the we'll just call it Bitcoin. The Bitcoin, <laughs> and then you then you take the Bitcoin and it's uploaded to your profile, and then it exchanges into USD again. Absolutely. So I thought it was Bitcoin. So I was so when it was when it was hitting like seventy thousand, oh, eighty thousand, I could have sworn that's I had it. like eight of them. <laughs> oh my right? goodness! Like eight full coins, full coins. Oh my goodness! So I went in there and I'm I'm uh, in and out franchise I'm, paid. I was I was trying to find like uh, find I forget my password everything. Oh my goodness! And I went in there and it showed zero and I was oh, like, dang! I think we all missed the boat on that. You know, with technology at our fingertips now, but hey. In and out Rhode Island, we're coming for you. Yeah, that's that's for damn sure. That's I I would say that it would probably take about a decade to get here. That's all right. If, if they're just getting into Tennessee, it's going to be about two years or so. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to work its way up to like DC. Yeah, and then from there, I yeah. If we own all the all the in and outs in mm -hmm. New England, that'd be great. But again, you know, Rhode Islanders were very picky. We they, they took Krispy Kreme and said, "Get out." That's true. Well, did I ever tell you the story of the Krispy Kreme here in Cranston? Yeah. No. So I'll tell you the quick story. So, well, hold on. Disclaimer. This is what was explained to me. <laughs> Thank you. That's my disclaimer. So what happened was, and this is, again, this is a great example to treat your treat your employees fairly. So the, one of the reasons that they closed down was that I guess the ownership or at least the manager or somebody was just treating the employees horribly. Oh, can't do that. So the, what's going to happen? You're going to have revolution. Mm -hmm. So these guys... Uh, from what I hear, uh, the register was always getting short. They were giving away a lot of free donuts. It just stopped making sense to operate. Sure. So now it's a, is it a bank now? What I is think that? so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it was a, a Burger King. Burger King, yep. But then Burger King went. I think it was a Chase or something like yeah, that? Yeah, uh, but that Burger King went somewhere else. Didn't they go to the Dollar side of the? It went to the, across the street. Across the street. Yeah. So now it's a bank. So treat your employees right, guys. All right. That's it. All right, be well. We'll do it again. Be well, eat yeah. well, and take care of each other. Ciao. Thanks.